Hi there! I'm gonna be testing uh, a new JP40 pack that I just built for a client. Uh, this uh, JP40 pack is a 6S uh, 2P and it's gonna, uh, it's gonna be pulling more than 100 amps. Uh, this pack do not have a BMS. However, have the BMS cable. This is gonna be using probably in an airplane. Um, we're gonna be testing this. Uh, this is built with a Copernicker uh, sandwich technique. It's a 0 0.2 copper with a point, what, point 0.15 pure nickel is this one, actually. Uh, as I mentioned, there's 12 JP40s and in the way that I'm gonna be testing this, uh, I have a probe already checking the temperature with the fluke. We have a fluke um, current meter amp meter uh, we're gonna check how many amps we're actually pulling i have in the load i have a inverter this inverter is at 24 volts it says 3500 but only give me 1500 you know that there's a chinese brand i have this connected to the inverter that's going to be creating the 1500 load 1500 watts on top of that i have i'm going to be pulling to, uh, 15 amps from here from this equipment it's a low tester and 20, uh, 600 watts from this one you we need a lot, a lot of juice from it's unbelievable from this small pack uh we're gonna be checking the temperature i hope i'm gonna create the 80 amp load i haven't tested in theory it should be about 30 amps load um, between the three equipments and uh, I'm gonna leave it running until these inverters, um, it, it will stop uh, the inverter at 20 amps, uh, 20 volts, because it's, it's 24 volts. Uh, so that's when I'm gonna stop the, the test. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but let's test this. We are gonna see the volt, uh, voltage sag. In this equipment, we can see every single cell uh voltage if you can see there and uh well let's see let's start this test to show you how we behave the jp40 on their heavy load all right i'm gonna start by turning on this one that is the heaviest load Oop, it wasn't on i mean turning on the heat gun actually we have 30 and this one more and the big one and we have 78 79 amps that's excellent exactly what I want let's see how it's doing the pack in the side excellent 2.6 And we are pulling 78. Let's see the temperature. Uh, this equipment always leaves off for 5 degrees. If you can notice. Uh, actually, a little, little bit more, but I want to see if we have see the cables. Oh, they are really putting hard. That's 8 gauge. Seventy seven amps. It's pulling, pulling hard the pack. Let's see the temperature. It's doing great. As soon as we have below uh, 21, I guess 20.5 is going to stop doing, doing better. Wow, it's doing great. This pack is doing great. Oh no, 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 it's about to stop. 
result is already continuously. Forty-nine. Wow, that's incredible. I'm going to stop at that 55 or probably this is going to stop first. It's going to stop now, probably. We stop, we stop here. I'm going to stop this. Unbelievable. The pack is amazing. Only 53. It's going to maybe go up to 55, 56. Look at that, man. You can touch this easy. Only 55. Wow. Unbelievable. It's going to say like 60 here. Yeah. The reason why this read different is because uh, in order to read correctly, it need to have painted the pack in like in black to read correctly but I mean we can have an idea so this pack is doing amazing look at this unbelievable well there you got it look at the power from a JP40 so if anyone uh, you know one JP40 we have available a bunch okay there we go have a good one